Okay, moving on, we're going to start looking at some different methods. We all know swing through, pull away, and the uh, doomed maintain lead. So we're uh, just going to try and progress James through some different ways of using different methods that we've had to actually add on to, just down to the sport progressing. Traps are throwing them faster and slower, they've got bigger angles. So we've had to mutate the methods a little bit to apply them in a different way. So the target we're going to shoot here, James, is the bee bird. So take a look at one. Pull. Bang, there's our kill point. So we're going to work a halfway. We're going to be using a swing through method on this. So on a swing through method, we're going to start with a negative lead, close the negative lead down and take the shot from there. So when you're ready. Pull. So, as you can see there, we made, we, made a, we made a plan. We made a plan that we're going to kill the bird right at its apex. That was there where we see it the clearest. James, you know, we discussed it. We're going to shoot a swing through method. So what actually happened was you took the shot far too fast. So, again, it comes down to the application of the method. So, as instructed or as many people teach, swing through is all about coming up to the clay, having negative lead. The moment you get the negative lead, off you go and take the shot. Now, the problem being, we often, as James did there, get to the clay way before the kill point. Now, we have to take the shot because we're there. We're, not, we're, already, we're already in position. And as you see there, you hit one and you missed one with the inconsistency. But on paper, what James did there was absolutely perfect. But again, because it's quite a slow target, we're going to actually look at a swing through that I apply quite differently and I've, it, I call it a negative hold. So what we're going to do, we're going to apply the same swing through, but we're going to predetermine our negative lead. If we let that negative lead change in size, that's going to affect the speed that we close the negative lead. So if we shoot with a foot of lead, negative lead on the first bird and two foot of lead on the negative side the second time the speed at which we close that is going to change that's going to change our our positive lead so what i want you to do now is um i know the gun's empty guys so i'm not going to get shouted at if you close the gun for me what i want james to do this time is let the clay pass him by a predetermined negative lead of 12 inches so if you mount the gun for me james you're going to come into 12 inches and you're going to do a negative hold so you're going to stay 12 inches. You're not going to close the 12 inches until I say now. When I say now, go ahead and make your move. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. So it's the same method, just mut mutated and applied very differently with a negative hold. This allows me to dictate the kill point, not the clay dictate back to me or the method more specifically dictate back to me. So don't let that grow. I want you to shoot two of them. 12 inch negative hold, 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 hold. We know the clay's slowing down. So when I say now, a very slow move and shoot the target where we want to. Okay. okay. I shall pop that back for later. Hold. Hold. Next. Yes, beautiful. And again. Hold. Hold. Now. There, we killed both of those in the exact same place because yeah. we got to the, the correct lead where we wanted to, not where the method dictated to. How'd that feel? It felt really good. It's, it's, it's different, isn't it? Controlled. But it feels very different, I think, to when you start having the balls to sit behind it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and because, yeah. uh, you know, it's as a human. Less of a, a lash yeah. and a hope. But as a, as a human, we want to close that negative lead down. We want to go, go, go. And that puts us in so many different... And you see, you see people using the swing-through method that have four different kill points because uh -huh. the kill point is when they get there. Yeah. It's not predetermined. So by having that negative hold, that puts me in control or James in control on this shot and he gets the kill point when he wants. But as I said earlier, the key thing is not letting that negative lead vary yeah. per shot. Time. Try a couple more. I'm going to stay quiet this time, which is very rare, I know, but we'll keep quiet and you'll shoot the negative hold all by yourself. 
Pull. As you can see there, James is struggling with his hand speed on the second bird, which is, again, is another cause of swing through. We panic, we've got a negative space, and then we want to energize, we want to close that speed down, that space down, sorry. So what we're gonna do now, James, you're gonna mount the gun, but I'm gonna do the driving, okay? Okay, and I just want you to see how much slower than you I'm gonna move the gun, okay? So two shells in. I'm still gonna hit you with a negative hold, but this time I'm gonna call pull the first time. When you hear me say now, pull the trigger. Okay, okay when you're ready. Okay, pull. So we've got the negative hold now. You see how much slower I am? Yeah. Pull, negative hold, waiting, now. That's how much slower we're gonna move the gun. Is this very target specific? I would use this method predominantly when there's gonna be very, very little lead, but where I'm gonna see the target for quite a long time. You know, as we, when James started, he shot it here because he went into a swing through. We obviously can't shoot maintain lead on this bird because if you want shoot, if you start in front of something that wants no lead, you're gonna miss it pull away immediately puts me in front again that's another miss so swing through is the method that we're left with but if we apply it as everybody else says we're going to get to the kill point in so many varied positions hence the negative hold then when it enters the kill zone I close the negative hold down and that allows me to shoot straight at it so what I'm going to try and do now I've got my own gun I've got the shot cam attached to it I'm going to try and show you what that negative hold will look like through the shot cam that should allow you to see it in detail before you go and put it into your own training routine. So once again, I'll talk you through it. We're gonna come up to a negative lead of 12 inches. I'm gonna hold that negative lead before closing very slowly and taking the shot on my predetermined kill point. Pull! 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 <laughs> 